Uh, so in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a Max Buttons power uh, purchase button uh, in your blog to create a link for event link uh, as a kind of call to action for a customer to or a reader to purchase. I've actually there's an example of it here on my blog. Uh, so it's just a pretty little button that you can press and it takes you straight through to the guy uh, to the brand to buy. But uh, it also means they get best price and you get credit for sending the sale to them. So um, how I go about doing that is pretty simple. I go into the backstage area of my website onto the dashboard and I go down to Max Buttons. It's a widget you can install. It should already be on there. But if it's not, you can install it as a widget onto your WordPress site. And I click uh, Buttons because I tend to clone an existing button. Uh, and then there's a list of my existing buttons that I've been using here already. And what you can do is you can actually click copy. So if you've got one you've already made that you like, just click copy and it's going to clone that existing button like that. And that's just showing in the top right what it looks like. So the button name would be Lawson Hammock because that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to want to put in the URL here, the custom link, which I showed you in a previous video how to create from event link. Uh, and so you pull out your custom affiliate link like that, uh, which I've showed in a previous video on YouTube and in this blog. And then you go back to the max buttons and you insert that right there like that. So that's inserted into there. You then the text I tend to have is purchase in capital letters and the price um, so that users can see what they're clicking on. And it really is as simple as that. I've tried lots of different colors. I used to do red. I now prefer black. I seem to get a better response from it. It seems to be less gaudy and less salesy to people and a little bit more classy on a website. And it's as simple as that. And then you simply go to the bottom and click save. And it's created a new max button for you uh, with a little bit of custom HTML code just for you. Uh, and you can see there if I click down on here, that's my custom HTML code. So from my point of view, I, if I just simply cut and paste that like that as it is and click copy, I can actually go to here and insert the button here. So if I click on HTML, paste it in like that and click preview, it is as simple as that. It's in. Now in the preview mode, you can't actually see the button, but I can promise you that when it goes live and you've published it, you do. Another top tip, you need a paragraph above and a paragraph below to give the button a bit of space. I've never found a better way around that. Um, but although it looks a bit clunky here, that means you get a tidy space like that above and below the button and it just looks nice and tidy on a mobile phone. So there you go, that's it, simple as that. You get the link from your uh, affiliate, which they create your custom link for the product. You then use the max button setting from the widget editor and then you insert the custom HTML into here uh, like that and that's what it'll look like on your blog and then that creates a button here that looks like that it's a little bit of a faff but I think it's well worth doing it's a nice little button and you've got control of how that button looks which I think is always really really helpful so there you go that's how to create a max buttons purchase call to action um, on a WordPress site